Asava, this is Lazy Mode, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today's video is telling you guys exactly how you could guarantee your drop rate chance and increase that drop rate of a shotgun to get the Death Shield, the anime, the, the, the of course, the Funeral Pyre, and, of course, the Guillotine, all the shotguns you probably want to pick up, even the High Roller. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys exactly where you guys are going to need to go, what you need to farm, and how you're going to be able to actually obtain them with a higher rate. So if all this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's jump right into the video and talk about what you're going to need to do to actually get this done. So first things first, guys, to avoid the trolls on the video, let's start off with the first things. Can you get these guns doing other stuff like other expeditions and other missions? Yes, you can. Can you get these weapons at a higher rate or a better possibility if you follow this method? Yes, you can. So that's what I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do to almost guarantee that you get a shotgun every single time when you do the following. We're going to talk about that and show you guys exactly what you're going to need to do. Now, I do want to make sure that you keep in mind and you understand that, yes, guys, RNG is still involved when doing this. So you want to keep that in chance. What I'm trying to do is give you a better chance of actually me farming an expedition for over 100 times, getting the data and giving you guys the results of what that data says so you guys can know exactly where the probability of getting shotguns is. So let's go ahead and get started. So for expeditions, guys, we're going to go looking for the expedition. The main expedition we're looking for is this one here, the Paction Homestead. This is a expedition that has a really high probability of getting a shotgun. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how high the probability is. Let me show you guys and pull up my inventory. If you guys see my inventory right here, this is me doing uh, runs just on this particular area. Uh, just doing a total of 12 runs. So this is what I got in so far. So we got this one, the anomaly. We also uh, the anime. Sorry, I call it the, not, the anime. We got the aerial master. We got the high roller. We got the dead shield. We got the guillotine. We had the funeral pyre, and we got the anime again. So those are just 12 runs that I done on that specific mission. Uh, when I say runs, I want to be specifically and very clear. These are runs that drop Legos. If you do a run and you don't get a Lego run, that is not considered a run. So it's only runs when you get Legos to drop. So theoretically, putting the bat together from doing 100 runs of this and seeing how the data folds for every three Lego drop runs you do, you should theoretically be getting a shotgun. So every three times you run it, I'm going to say between three and five because I don't want to come back. Someone does it in three and they don't get one. So I'm going to say between three and five. So between three and five Lego runs that you get, you should get a shotgun. Now, it's not going to be like the shotgun you want, but it's a high probability you could probably get the Death Shield. The thing about this particular expedition is that it drops really high rate of shotguns. So if you're looking for a shotgun, this is where you want to go. Paction Homestead. It's going to be dropping a shotgun for you guys. So if you're looking for the Dead Shield, if you're looking for the High Roller Anomaly, uh, I keep calling it Anomaly, the Anime or this one right here, which is the Funeral Pyre, that is where you want to go. Quick update, though, I want to let you guys know, if you guys are doing expeditions, you're going to want to load the expedition. If it doesn't load for you, just load it, and then you're going to go ahead and quit and abandon. Now, I do want to ask you something. If you guys are still looking for a specific armor set or piece, let me know what that armor set is. I am on the hunt for some stuff. I know a lot of you guys are asking for the Seismic Commander. I almost have that narrowed down to exactly how you get it, and what is the highest drop rate you're able to get that from. If you guys notice here, I have a total of, uh, I already have one, two, three, including this one's four. So I kind of know exactly where they're dropping from. I just want to make sure I'm 100% sure before I put out the video. I'm also pretty sure I know where the Akari chest piece drops from as well. So those are the two I'm kind of narrowing down because those are the ones that are mostly being requested. But if you have any other weapon that you guys want me to kind of narrow down exactly where those are dropping from, let me know in the comment section down below. So once again, if you're trying to get the Death Shield, trying to get the anime, uh, the Funeral Pyre, the Guillotine, or any other shotgun like the High Roller, that is where you want to go. So remember, guys, you just go to the Expeditions, abandon until you actually get it to go. Here we go. We're going to get it to load, and we are going to go ahead and play it. And you should theoretically be getting a shotgun between every three to five Lego runs. Remember, that is extremely important. They have to be Lego runs because I on my previous video you guys were saying I did ten runs and I you know I I got I didn't I didn't get Legos like in four runs and I just got Legos in six runs. It has to be a total of ten Lego runs for that one. For this one in particular, for every between every three and five, you should be getting a shotgun to drop. 
I'm gonna ask you for a huge favor. You guys to come back to the video and let me know if you guys are getting the shotguns to drop. And if you pick up the dead shield or you pick any other shotgun you guys really want, come back and let me know. Laser, this really works. So the rest of the community can also find out how to actually do this. I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. Me playing this just a tad bit so you guys can know exactly how to do this and how fast you're able to complete this one. This one takes roughly between 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how fast and what type of build you have. Now, the only thing I hate about this particular one is that the BAM birds! Please nerf the birds, man. They got to go. I hope you guys did find this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when we go live. We're probably live right now, so stop by and hang out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. There's ferals in the farm. No sign of the survivors. <laughs>